I've spent my entire life just doing me and maybe I still don't even know who me is and I'm probably gonna spend the next few years continuing to figure out what I'm gonna do. When I sort of finally graduated from drama school, the music kind of overtook what I was doing with the acting. I really kind of felt like I'd found what I was gonna do for life. I had some amazing experiences, like played Glastonbury Festival. I don't think I'd ever kind of top how I felt after that. You know, it came to a point where I was like, I'm gonna have to like decide now, do I wanna keep you know, doing odd jobs. Do I want to then chase 300 pounds payment for a promo job when I could maybe focus a little bit more on the career path that I'm in, put the drum into the side a little bit. And it was it's tough, man, it's a tough decision to make. You know, I became that person that I, <laughs> that I always tried not to be, which was somebody that kind of enjoyed having a stable wage and I felt like I'd sold myself out. I was like, man, why, you know, you love drumming, keep drumming. So yeah, currently I work in the cycling industry. You know, I use my day job to kind of help fund my passion. That will be, I think, inevitably how I can go from like the retail to making the personal training full time. Like that would be the dream. It doesn't matter how many things you dip into. Like if anything, the more things you trial and error throughout your life, the, the more rounded you become. I'm only, I'm doing this right now but I might not do it forever. Yes, I've been a drummer, I've been a personal trainer, I've been a retail worker, I've been a manager, an assistant manager, a supervisor. I might still be all of those things again, but they've all made me who I am today and they continue to shape who I am today. There's no such thing as falling behind, like everybody's journey looks different. Things will only get better if I continue to graft the way I do.